All right, so someone had asked me to maybe do a video of this. I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory, but I was gonna pop open my air box and uh, just check my air filter. F, now it's got 8,000 miles on it. Just wanted to see how clean the filter was. So I'll try to do this with one hand. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's see, loosen this. And then you should be able to just kind of pop. Yeah, this is the problem, I'm trying to do this with one hand. First of all, let's get our filter out. Got a can and air filter. Ooh, that's filthy. We're gonna wash that today. Glad I pulled it out. So one of the other performance mods was getting rid of the charcoal filter. So I'm gonna try to put my camera down, my phone for a second. So what you want to do, people have asked, you know, how come the 2022 lost 10 horsepower from the year before? And it's mainly due to an extra air filter that they put in. So you go putting in your K&N or whatever other country, companies make this stuff. Come on. There we go. So you put in the uh, aftermarket high flow air filter and all that stuff. And the truth is that there's still another filter in here. Now, I can't show you the removal process because I've already done it. But when you take the lid off, in the top of there, right here, there was this charcoal filter. And then in there, near the math sensor, there was this other honeycomb thing. So what this was, was there's this charcoal filter that doesn't breathe all that well. I mean, air obviously does get pulled through it, but it does restrict the airflow a good bit. And it drops you about 10 horsepower. That's the difference between the 2021 and the 2022. It went from 460 horsepower to 450. That's the primary reason, that obstruction. So you might put in your high flow filter but then you've got this thing here, and basically what was happening was it was heavy. It's in there for emissions. So um, any unburnt fuel that makes its way back up in the manifold and through, you know, the vapors kind of make their way. Instead of coming back through the filter and exiting out the vehicle into the air, what it does is it captures in that charcoal filter. It absorbs it. And then when you first fire up the car, all the air getting sucked through that and into the intake, it sucks the fumes, anything that collected back in. All you have to do is it's held in, you can see the, the tips here of the plastic tabs. When you take the lid off, it's gonna be very obvious. If you wanna work on it, you know, pull the math sensor out, just unscrew it, be very careful with those, they're sensitive, and just pull it out. And now you have the filter, remember this is upside down, would be going through here and into there. And if you wanna pop out that You'll see what I'm talking about. It's, it's right in this area here. There's this honeycomb thing. I don't know how much that obstructs it. I just figured while I was in there, I'll just take it all out. You could probably leave that. The biggest thing is just getting this charcoal filter out of here. That absolutely robs horsepower. So get rid of that. So what I'm gonna do now is go into house and clean and yeah, that thing's filthy. I mean, it still breathes, but we're gonna go clean that out really well and reinstall that. So that's how you do that. That's the charcoal removal. It's free and you'll get back your eight to 10 horsepower just from that alone.